going to lay it back. My name is Derek D. Johnson, also known as Bright Shine. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee, in Shelby County. So, today is day in June, excuse me, in July 5th, 2014, which is Saturday. July 3rd and July the 5th, 2014. And the time is 3.08 a.m. And I will date this video with uh, yesterday's uh, date, which was uh, Friday, July the 4th, 2014, which was the 4th of July, Independence Day here in the United States of America. And uh, on the 1st, First, say to everybody, uh, I hope that every, each and every one of you um, had a happy uh, 4th of July Independence Day celebration and that uh, it was safe because you know sometimes um, uh, accidents can happen with fireworks and things of that nature and uh, cooking. Accidents can be real, and uh, just hope everybody had, was able to enjoy the Fourth of July Independence Day safely. And uh, I want to first say thank you to all my fans, my supporters for your continued encouragement and, and your support. And uh, uh, you know, I'm continuing to maintain a balance between work and school. Which is necessary. I'm trying to work and trying to go to school. I work at Ameripride here in Memphis, Tennessee, in Shelby County, on, a, on the corner of Vance Avenue and uh, Wilma Street. And um, I'm also a student, a freshman at Monroe College Online, studying. Uh, Business administration, concentration in, uh, in marketing. And I'm studying for my associate's degree. And uh, I'm trying to maintain a balance. But uh, when going to work uh, five days a week, bring 40 plus hours, and uh, going to school. Keep my grades uh, what it's supposed to be, no lower than a B. <coughs> Excuse me. And also, uh, make sure I, I keep myself employed. And I'm also constantly trying, while I'm trying to work and back, uh, trying to work and go to school, trying to maintain that balance. I'm also constantly trying to work on my entertainment and my musical interests, which is equally important. And by no means have I uh, decided that I'm uh, not interested in my entertainment music. That's not that's not um, that's not the case. It's the, the, the situation being that. I'm working 40 hours, 40 plus hours a week, and I'm trying to go to school. And when you're doing that, you, your time, time management is, is a very important thing that you need to uh, be able to, uh, to handle. So, Come to my entertainment music interest. That's what I'm having to deal with. Work, school, and then when I'm not at work, when I'm when I'm not at work, then I'm working on my school, school work, my class work. But uh, no matter what, I'm still working on my entertainment music interest and. Uh, 
and they are in the future. And we'll be on the court going back to our West, West House Studio right here in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and San Antonio Airway Boulevard. You know, I'm with you. And uh, you're my fan, my supporter. Me to continue to be my fan, my support. You know, continue to maintain, uh, keep myself in school and keep myself employed also. Uh, that's, that's just uh, important. You know, I'm not trying to be long on this video. <coughs> I need to make a correction for uh, my last week video. I, I didn't mention the names of the three uh, civil rights workers. Uh, who were murdered uh, in Mississippi. Uh, came down to the state of Mississippi during the 1964 uh, Freedom Rides. weekend a week before it was a week that um, the 50th anniversary of the murders of the three all the young civil rights workers and uh, you know, we, we don't never uh, forget uh, that, they, that they were murdered trying, trying to help someone Get the right to vote and, and have the right to you know have equal rights here in America. But yet and still, they got murdered. And uh, the three civil rights workers' names were uh, James, and they were murdered on June 21st, 1964. And they were members of the Commerce of Racial Equality. And they, they were murdered in Neshoba County, Mississippi, which is uh, Philadelphia, Mississippi. And the names of the three, three uh, civil rights workers' uh, names is James Cheney, Andrew Goodman, and Michael uh, Shawana Swerner. Michael Schwerner, and uh, their bodies were found uh, some like 44 days later uh, in, a, in, a, in a, they had been murdered in, in, by the Ku Klux Klan, you know, the Ku Klux Klan, and, 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 and I said, oh, we don't need to never forget that they were down, they came during the summer of 1964 to uh, demonstrate so others could have the right to vote, you know, and uh, have equal rights here in the United States of America. And their lives, that they were murdered. That's, that's saying something. Are uh, you trying to help someone else to have equal rights? Your life get taken. See, that, that, see we have to understand that when you out here to demonstrate for someone else's right to vote and trying to speak out and speak up, not just for yourself, you, you put yourself in jeopardy by coming down to the state of Mississippi. You understand? And, and, and speaking up for another person's right. You understand? They have to be able to drink from a water fountain, be able to use the restroom. You know, you got these signs on all colors and, and white. You know what I'm saying? And, and you, you, you have you, this, this whole 
segregated schools, and if there's no requirement, can you ride on, on, a, on a public bus? I mean, even you're black, you got to sit in the back of the bus. The thing is, they see they came down, couldn't stand missed it, and they had they were standing up for someone else's right to vote, and for someone else to have equal rights under the law. When you have equal rights under the law, that means your you know your rights are protected. That means your life, you are you are entitled. You understand? The laws of the United States of America apply to you. Not, not just to the white. But these three three workers, one was black and two were white. Their lives were taken. See? You don't need to never forget. And also your feet. Uh, celebrating uh, So, the Civil Rights Act of 1964, on July the 2nd, 1964, the Civil Rights uh, Act was passed to give uh, it outlaw discrimination. That's what it is. It outlaw discrimination uh, based on race, color, religion, sex. National origin and so on. And it ended unequal application of the voter registration requirements and, and, and racial segregation in schools, at the workplace, and not facilities that serve the general public, known as public accommodation. And we want to make sure we know what y'all can get. That have, that have taken place over the years and what many people have done to get this nation aware of where it is today. And um, like I said, I'm not going to be long on this video. Uh, like I said, uh, yesterday was the 4th of July. It was Friday. 4th of July this year came on Friday. And uh, like I said, I hope everyone was able to enjoy the 4th of July safely. And um, I enjoyed my 4th of July. And uh, as you see, I'm still on video with fireworks blowing up on me and everything. Didn't get burned by the grill and everything in this day. Uh, so, like I said, I'm hoping that everyone enjoyed their 4th of July. I enjoyed, I enjoyed mine. Before I end this video, uh, I want to continue our talk and conversations on traditional African culture and customs. And uh, last week, we started our conversation, our talk with African names. go to from A to Z. So I start out in, in, in the first now for A. And the first name that you know in, in our talk conversation in the letter A is a B name. A B name. A B name. Which is feminine West African a king. And it means born on Tuesday. You know, in the Karen uh, language. Now, now, also, in the uh, African name. Another feminine name in the Z, another African, you know, letter Z. And um, the name in the, in, that, I, that I shared with 
Hey man, we no new no new no, pronounced words. The spelling way it's spelled it may not be the way it's pronounced. I mean, you might see an A at the end, but the A could be silent. Could see an O, a E, a I, a U. But at the end. Even at the beginning, it could be at the beginning, the middle, or the end. That letter could be silent, but the way it's spelled, that letter is there. But you know, you know it's silent. So the name Zuri, Zuri, Z U R I, or Zura. Now, if the way it's uh, presented, there's no punctuation showing that it's silent or not. But it says that it's spelling. It's East African. Swahili. Means beautiful. In Swahili. We're going to continue. Our talk. And conversation. Traditional African culture. on African names. Now, I'm going to do more than just one. Uh, you know, because uh, it's the like I said, it starts from A to Z, so everything from that point on is in the middle between A to Z. Now, when, uh, that, uh, last week, like I said, I said uh, I'm being Nate. I'm being not. A B N A. It means that the A is silent. You can say a B N A. It means it gives you the A at the end. Then there's another word. A B N E. A B N E. A B N A. It's West African. Yoruba. And it means. Ask for her, and behold, we got her. That's what it means in Yoruba. There's a letter A. Don't, don't be uh, saying the name, the African name is in the Yoruba. Baba GD. Baba GD. Or Baba Jandi. In West Africa, it's Yoruba. It's the male. The male. Means father has returned in Yahoo. That's what I mean. It means father has returned. I'm going to now see. Letter C. Now this the Igbo, in the Igbo. Now this word 
right here. It can be male and female. That's mythology. And cha. Or chi. And the way you spell it is C H I. C H I. Cha. Or chi. And it means God, spiritual being, and equal, referring to the person, guiding, that each person is believed to have. Now, what I'm going to say now is the Aruba word is the letter D. Dada or Day Day. It's female. It's female, feminine. West African, Yaruba. Means curly hair. Means curly hair. And the letter I, we have a female and feminine, East African, Swahili, African American meaning, faith in Swahili. I won't gonna be long in this video. I'm not gonna try to get too long. But uh again, I wanna say I wish I hope that everyone enjoyed their fourth of July. And um again I wanna say thank you to all my fans, my supporters for your continued support and for your continued encouragement and your support. Yeah, my name is Eric B. Johnson, also known as Brightshine. I live here in Memphis, Tennessee, in Shelby County. Until my next video, take care of yourself.